Hello guys, today I'll be showing you on how to install additional RAM on a Dell laptop. The laptop which I have right here is a Inspiron 1535667. So it'll be the same with the entire 3000 series. And the RAM which I have over here is from Crucial. And this is the thing. Now first off remove the power cable and remove the battery too to ensure that there is no power in the laptop just going to switch it on ok now we are good now to remove the screws we can use a small screwdriver like this one and to reduce the video time I have already removed the screws the first screw which will be removing is this this will be for the optical drive or the caddy tray if you have put one easily slide out just like this and then we will start with the second screw, third screw, fourth screw, fifth screw, sixth screw, seventh, eighth and these are the ones which will be below the battery so the ninth, tenth and eleventh and even over here uh, there will be additional 3 screws 12th one, 13th one and 14th one now I use my I use a compartment in which the RAM slot only came to store the screws so the initial few screws will be like the big ones and, and the ones behind the charging dock were these they are medium sized and the screws over here are the really tiny and now we'll go to the front now for this we'll need a thin sharp object and anything like this will do I'll be using this to pop open the keyboard so there are points 5 points 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 you just need to put the sharp object in there press it towards you and just pull it up and it came up now we will repeat that over here second one and it came up third one came up clips fourth and fifth now that is up just take it up and pull it towards you now this is optional but it's preferable to remove the keyboard wire so just put the black thing up and it will come out and the keyboard you can keep it on the side now over here remove 5 more screws which are 1, 2, 3, 4 and fan and even this which is for the optical drive or additional drive now that this wires out again gently close the screen and now we finally get the access to the back cover now to remove the back cover we'll use something soft like this plastic thing and pop the cover and voila Aqua. 
Now this is the slot for the additional RAM. We'll just take note of this gap. This it should align, or else it will be the other way around. And just put it at an angle like this. At an angle, and these two points, a click sound will come over there. Just gently press it down. Done. So you wanted to remove the RAM. This, this point, press it here and here. It will pop up. This. Once you've installed the RAM, before putting everything back, since it's such a tricky process, you just start the laptop and see if it's actually working or no. Now since the hinges all like the back cover is open and the hinges are exposed, again keep your arms on the side and gently open it by putting pressure near the hinges. Going to be tricky, but last thing you want to know is install it and find out that the RAM is not working or something. A tiny bit and start by plugging the keyboard first, this side up and this black tab up. Hmm. It's perfect. And then press the black tab now. Just tug it. It's perfect. Now we'll just see for the RAM if it's working or no. Now we'll start putting the screws back in the same order, starting from 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, for which will be the big screw. And now will be a good time to even put some thread locker on the screws. And for the screws over here, 11, 12, we'll use the medium size screws. And lastly, for the three screws over here, be the smallest one, just silver in color. Instead of installing the 13 screws, we will slide the optical wire back in and put the last 14 screw over here and lastly the battery, keep it on the side and just gently pop it in. It's done. Now we will come to the front side. Now we can easily open this laptop screen and we will finish with the internal screws which one is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once we have finished installing the 5 screws, we will install back this wire which was for the external drive the same way as we did for this. Slide it and tuck. Now 